today will be playing without their right tackle. That's Pete D'Souza, the young guy, the redshirt freshman. Pete underwent some surgery yesterday after a horrific accident on the campus. Got the phone call around 9.30 and found that Pete had been hit by a car and then I was still on campus when it happened. I went up and, you know, he's uh, dealing with EMS and a lot of the players are there and obviously there's, uh, I think, a sense of disbelief, numb. You know, at that point in time, football isn't real important. You just uh, want to be sure that your buddy's okay. Considering what has happened this week, you know, to our team and to one of the members of our team, you know, um, the players are the most important thing for us as coaches. And, uh, you know, with, uh, with Pete getting hurt, you know, that was on all, all our minds, you know, before the game. And, and Coach uh, Friedman did a great job putting it in perspective. After Coach spoke, and he, and he was very emotional about it, um, you could just sense it. You could feel it in the room. It, it became quiet. I got a call. I guess one of our managers, Jake, I think was one of the first people to see it, and he called Danny O'Brien, and then Danny called me, and then I called Tom and Ralph, and, and, um, and then the word got down that the guy's leaving study hall, and they were all coming up the hill. But, um, you know, that, that's kind of how we kind of first found out about it. Um, um, you know, basically the situation. When I heard about Pete, you know, I was upset. I was actually in my room, and you know, a first message came from Nick Peterson. He was like, um, "Room on campus is someone got hit on the school and they think it's a football player." And so you know, obviously we're all calling around trying to figure out, you know, if it was true. And then they said it was Pete. And by the time like we had no time to react, like he had already been taken off. But, I mean, it was, it was definitely a major blow. I mean, he's, he's a great person, and he worked hard to be in the position he's in. And then, you know, for something, a crazy accident like that to happen, you know, it hurt. Very emotional uh, Thursday night. Um, you know, you never want to see anybody, anybody, you know, have that kind of trauma. But uh, when it's just starting right tackle and, and just the impact that he's, you know, he's such a good person, um, it really ran through the team emotionally. Um, I was uh, very impressed the way the guys kind of focused in on Friday, um, you know, and, and Coach Friedgen did a good job of keeping the guys in the loop all day long as to the two surgeries and, and what he was going through. And I think the best thing Coach did, he was very honest and upfront about it. And, and uh, so the guys kind of felt like they knew what was going on. And, we, you know, it kept us in our routine throughout the day. And, you know, guys got to step up when things like that happen, and, and that's really what happened. The fellow who comes in and has played very, very well in a variety of positions is Paul Penninger. You know, he's played, started for us a guard, started for us a tackle. Here he's our center, and you know, he played very well uh, against the BC last year tackle. And Bennett, of course, had played some back at both guard and center, and so now he stepped up and was a starting center. But to go from center to tackle, with the, the difference in the pass sets is the biggest difference. It was quite remarkable how well Paul played yesterday. After I found out about Pete's accident, um, I got a call from Coach Brad and, and said, you know, our option, we're going to put you at right tackle. And I said, well, you know, whatever I can do. And he said, we're going to put uh, Bennett Fulbert center. And you know, I couldn't really think of anybody better to fill that spot. And, it, you know, I think it's just really about, you know, getting your best five out there. And my role was just to play the position as best I could with as little bit of practice at the position. So I just came out there and did the best I could. I don't think there's too many linemen in the country um, that, you know, really have, you know, had the experience that he's had. You know, you're talking about a guy that came in here as a walk-on that worked extremely hard, you know, kind of figured into the two deep, earned a scholarship, and whenever there's an issue, you can take him and kind of fill in a gap and solve a problem. It's been a journey to say the least, you know. I came here playing left tackle, um, you know, switched to right after a few seasons, then back to left, you know, started right tackle left, uh, last season, and then when Bruce Campbell got hurt, he switched to the left. Then they asked me to play left guard. I've seen some time at right guard. I haven't officially started the game at right guard, but then I'm, now I'm playing center, and now I'm back at the right tackle. Um, he's made himself very valuable. Um, I think he's going to be a guy that we're going to look back on and, and be very, very proud of him and what he accomplished in his career, and he's going to be extremely proud. When I heard that I was moving to center, I was just like, let's do it. Let's uh, you know, get focused. and get the job done and I know Paul is going to do his part out at tackle 
and uh, we just come together as a group of five and do what we could. I thought Bennett did well. You know, it's just you know, first time in the first time in the fray, and all of a sudden now having rather having switched positions. Okay, now I'm on the mainstay at center right now, and there were some things where it was obviously he's going to need some more reps, but. We were able to get through the game. We had a whole lot of gross mental errors. You had to coordinate the calls from both sides to the other side. And they're pretty good, particularly versus the run. So I thought he did well. Pete getting hurt, I think, just was another element of adversity for us. I mean, the O-line's been through so much already. I can't say enough about the O-line just because they get put in crazy situations against good teams and, uh, and, still, and still sell out every week. And they did great. And that was a big reason why we won this week was because of them.